Hello, Dylan here, and welcome to another anime review that I literally just finished, like, maybe 30 minutes to an hour ago, that I really wanted to talk about, because, oh, I love this anime. And that is, of course, Bloom Into You, which, honestly, it captivated me, like, from the very first episode, it captivated me, like, immediately, I was like, oh, wow, this Oh, whoa. Like, that's basically my kind of reaction to it the in the very first episode. But, of course, at first, I wanted to watch it because I was... Because way back, I was looking up Yuri anime to watch because I am a male. So, yes, of course, I'll go and try to find some Yuri anime to watch. And this was, of course, in that category. But it turned... But from, it turned into much more than just, oh, go watch it because it's two girls making out. No, there, it's a lot more to it than just that. And I was really happy for that by now because, one, I've matured a bit more about than just going, oh, hey, let's go for the lewdness. No, this is, I'm glad that it, it didn't go for like a lewd kind of, it's not like a lewd kind of story. Another thing I like about this is that each character has their great own kind of personalities for each of them. And they have, not all not all of them are shown their own story, but a good, good amount of them, you do see a good amount of story for some of them. But, this, but what this kind of, but of course what this kind of story is, it's a stereotypical romance. It is not... Like, one going for another, and then they just fall, fall in love. No, it is completely one-sided. It is a completely one-sided love story. And, that's what I really liked about it, is that it's not your typical kind of romance. It's not a rom-com, because there was, those, those, all the moments that were funny were more chuck like you know, will like give you a chuckle, not like a, like a laugh out loud, like an LOL moment, which, which kind of works, and helps with the serious moments in this anime. Oh, and one more. Oh, and the English dub, which is how I watched it, was phenomenal. I really loved the English. This English dub. They did really well with this. And the opening, oh, the opening matches the way the story is so well. The one thing I didn't like, though, there's I always find I always managed to find something that I don't like, sadly, and that it's that the animation and the art style are kind of average for me. So good, but it's it's pretty much a no normal average kind of animation and art style, in my opinion. And at some points, I noticed that I kept thinking of Studio Ghibli at some points. I just said at, point, at some point starts. But yeah, there are moments where I'm just thinking, this, am I watching, am I, am I watching Bloom Into You or, or Studio Ghibli film? Because it, like, some of the dialogue seems somewhat similar. It's like a... To me, it seems like it's a more mature kind of Studio Ghibli. If, a stu if Studio Ghibli did something more mature, like, say, a PG-13 kind of movie, I feel like Bloom Into You would kind of... would be a good representation of what that would be. Because the dialogue and how the, vo how the voice actors portrayed it and even the animation, which I said, like I said, it was it was average but good. It kind of reminds me of some of the Studio Ghibli films that I have watched. I have not watched all of them. I barely watched any of them, but it just gave me that kind of feeling of what Studio Ghibli is. And before I give my rating, I want to say I'm not going to spoil what the last episode was like, but I will say that. It ended kind of very open, open-endedly. 
I don't know whether it's because it didn't finish the manga or if it's there's more in the, to the manga or I don't know, but it it was already open ended at the way it, the way it ended. So how many times can I say ended? Um, I just. I kind of actually liked how the how it was open ended, like your own perceived like what will continue, how what what will happen next. Leave it like leave it to your imagination of what is going to happen next next with some of these characters. And now for my overall uh, rating for this, I would say I would I th yeah I give it a four point five out of five. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this anime review. If you did, hit. I hope you enjoyed this anime review. If you did, hit like. Get subscribed if you're new. Keep watching anime, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.